Hello, hello, hello. It is uh, currently almost three in the morning and I'm up recording this because my mind is racing. My mind is racing. Um, <clears throat> nothing fancy today. Nothing fancy. Uh, no co-host today. He, uh, he died in a horrific car crash off screen. Um, so it's just me. It's just me today. No fancy editing, just me. Um, if you haven't noticed, I kind of intend, intend these videos for you to kind of just throw on, up on the background. You don't got to sit and watch them. Not much happens. My editing is very uh, bare bones, very like visual gag, blinking, you miss it kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm up. I'm not going to bed anytime soon. I just watched Oppenheimer with my roommates. Um, but that's not what I wanted to talk about today. I, I had something else I wanted to talk about. Um, and it's that I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in Gundam lately. Um, so there, there's a multi, a couple reasons for this. Firstly, I must address something. The, the Witch from Mercury season two review that I promised so many months ago is already the end of the year. Uh, that's probably not going to come out. I just don't feel like talking about it. I just I just don't care about it at all anymore. Um, after The Witch from Mercury finished, I rewatched District 9. Um, Oppenheimer came out. There was another one that I had seen. I don't remember what it was, but I think they'd all done their versions of um anti war anti uh apartheid anti uh i guess ethno state technically they'd done those stories much better than the witch from mercury had and and it made me think like wow you know people people really are just entertained by something if it has like anime eyes because there were some good things in The Witch from Mercury, right? I will concede to that. But the story was just not there. The story and the characters fell short of the expectations. I thought the show would only go up from the ending of Season 1. Um, and I did say that the, the Season 1 was getting better as it went along. But as uh, Season 2 went along, I, I realized it had just uh, the show had just stagnated above all. I found the the ending uh, to be quite disappointing, despite it being like a happy ending, which isn't uh, it's it's not very common for a Gundam series to have an overtly happy ending. Um, what else? We're getting another Seed project. Seed. Um, I think there's only one good thing from Seed, and that's Stargazer. Um, I like Stargazer. One of the main reasons I like Stargazer is because it's self-contained. Alright. All the bullshit. Like, pretty much most of the bullshit that is the seed, the seed section of the franchise is gone. There is, it's not present, at least. Stargaz you can watch Stargazer without watching the rest of Seed. And it's still a good story. It still holds up. I think. Um... What else? Um, oh, back to the Witch of Mercury. I think I didn't finish what saying my first point. Um, I really don't know how the show got so popular. Um, considering there wasn't much to go off of. I mean, I suppose it was better than than uh, the... What was, I don't remember the name of it. Whatever D-Mid D Slayer arc was going on at the time for season three it blew ble bleach out of the, the fuck out of the water deservedly so bleach is not a good show from what i recall i guess the manga gets even worse um uh what else it beat whatever harem anime whatever isekai uh it was number one it's been the most profitable year for uh, Studio Sunrise since like the 90s when Gundam was like the thing to watch so you know congr congrats to them um, 
I don't know how they did it, but, you know, somehow, they did it. They did it. Um, so, I think, at the end of the day, it's not for me. And I will stand by my stance that anime is not good, but there are good animes. Um, what else? My other, oh, the other thing I wanted to watch... Or not watch, but the other thing I want to mention, Gundam Games. Now, I don't know if you know this. There's been a game going around called called Armored Core, I think. Um, people think it's a Gundam game. People want it to be a Gundam game, especially because From Software has made Gundam games in the past. Um, however, unfortunately, there are not really any good Gundam games that are still around. The only one is GBO2, and because the target audience of the Gundam franchise don't uh, sit around on PlayStations and PCs, um, it's not the it's not the game that people want to talk about. People want to talk about uh, Gundam Evolution or Code Fairy, right? I saw somebody post the other day. Um, Gundam games keep being shut down or unfinished or go unfinished because Gundam fans don't want to give them a chance. It's like, okay, sure, we can say that. But why would it people want to give these games a chance? Hmm? Why would people want to give these, these pachinko-style games, these gacha-style games a chance? Hmm? Why, who is asking, and I'm, I'm referring to Code Fairy, who is asking for the waifu bait slop game where, oh, we're back with the villains, but this time they're one of the good ones, and they've got cute kawaii anime eyes and big anime titties. But they're all minors, by the way. They're all minors, I think. Um, yeah. So but who, who, what Gundam fan is asking for that? Hmm? Hey, Gundam games are dying because... There are no, there's not really any games that Gundam fans want. And I think, I, from what I've seen, you know, this is anecdotal, but from what I've seen, the Gundam game that people want, that people want, um, is just, it's, it's just Gundam flavored COD. Um, they just want to shoot something, which I think, if you're going to make a Gundam game, it, it has to stay true to the message of Gundam. Um, especially because you're actually interacting with the environment, right? The character you're playing as um, needs to be needs to be aware that uh, their part not not like fourth wall breaking stuff, but like it needs to be it needs to be known that this character is part of a anti-war franchise, right? Um, because right now, all the, a lot of the games are just, uh, go fight this thing and we'll give you coins for it. So, and Gundam Evolution was supposed to be eSports. I don't know why why uh, Bandai Namco thought that was going to work. All the e just about all the eSports games have been games for a while. They have ga those games have been around for years, right? And they have worldwide player bases. Gundam Evolution had did not have a worldwide release. It was also a brand new game. I don't even think it was out for a year before they canceled it. Um, I must also stress you've seen the Gundam Engage content on my channel. I have enjoyed the game, but it's been, it has not met my expectations. I thought that the game was gonna be a little more engaging, you know, it's literally called, that's the name of the game, Gundam Engage, you know, but so far, the only thing I'm engaged for is the new content with the new character, Pesce. Um, other than that, it's basically just Gundam, Gundam flavored Clash of Clans. That's it. Some of the game mechanics are even the same from what I, I've seen. I haven't played Clash of Clans in like 10 years. Um, <clears throat> what else? Uh, the main reason I wanted to make this video though was because well it's been out for a little bit about a month a little over a month now i watched pluto pluto was a manga 
that was I think it was either co-written or supervised by Tezuka's son, the Tezuka, the guy that basically got anime off its feet and going uh, back in the day. Tezuka is not Tezuka did not make the first anime, but he's known as the father of anime because he's what made it popular uh, with things like Astro Boy, which is what Pluto is. Pluto is an adaptation, a, a, an adaptation and a retelling of um one of the arcs from the astro boy series or comic book i don't remember which one um it centers around the titular character pluto who starts off when we start off the show it's a serial killer kind of story uh like a noir it's a mix of like cyberpunk noir anti-war stuff right um a mix of like cyberpunk it basically just like modernizes that story um and i i think it looks good it it, it looks good the, the soundtrack's good uh the dub is pretty good um but it, it 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 unfortunately i must say that pluto well i enjoyed it sorry had a yawn i enjoyed it very much um it left me very disappointed in a lot of Gundam. I realized uh partially through my my uh journey through the Gundam franchise that a lot of Gundam kind of just fucks around. Right? And one of the main reasons that I'm uh mostly a UC only person. I like the other things. I like Double Blow. I like uh parts of the build franchise um i just had another one on top of my head i can't remember um x x is good from what i hear i've watched like two episodes from that i liked it turn a was good it's way too long um but yeah a lot of gundam is just it's just garbage it's just an excuse to make uh, a mecha anime and uh Pluto is yet another thing, another property that has left me feeling that way. Um, especially in light of current events, and I know that's not exactly good taste to relate things to the current events, especially when like said events weren't going on at the time. As you know, there is a uh, there's turmoil, or I turmoil is putting it lightly. There's, there's heavy, heavy, heavy turmoil and conflict going on in the Middle East at the moment. Um, I try to keep this channel to just media analysis, but, you know, with current events going on, I think that Pluto and what happens in Pluto as it, it changes from a, a noir detective story into an anti-war story. Um... I think that makes it a little more relevant to, to the modern day. Um, and I think that's something that The Witch from Mercury completely failed on. And, um, <clears throat> and that's not just The Witch from Mercury, not to, rag, not to rag on The Witch from Mercury. A bunch of other Gundam projects do this too. They just, they just aim for something and they miss the bar. Um, my co host, uh, he's probably not done with it yet, but having rewatched. Gundam Unicorn recently. Um, I gotta say, some of the scenes felt really silly. I know a lot of people love Gundam Unicorn, but I gotta say, there's some pretty silly and stupid moments in that show. I like it, but I like the show. But uh, I think it's it, sometimes it bites off a little more than it knows how to chew. Um. But yeah, I, I like Pluto. Pluto Pluto is very good. Um, Pluto, uh, like as I said, is a modern retelling of Astro Boy. Um, though he's not called Astro Boy in the show, he's called Adam, which is his original name. He was changed to Astro Boy for the American version. And that's how he became known here in the West. Um, yeah, oh, that's another thing. Cyberpunk. I think... While Cyberpunk, the the, ed, the Cyberpunk Edge Runners, now that I mentioned that genre, 
Um, while I don't think it was the most original anime, I think it does highlight a little better the class disparity that the Witch Mercury tried bringing up. Um, I think, I, yeah, I think it does it better too. The the length that people who are like who are less fortunate, we'll put it that way, um, will go to to uh 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 to to ensure that they can eat tomorrow or ensure that um they don't get like fucked over by circumstances you know uh but back to pluto though back to pluto i really want to talk about pluto pluto was really good i can't stress that enough i'd give pluto a nine like a 9.5 um, I think the ending maybe a little too short, uh, but I think it was it was pretty good. I think Pluto did what it needed to. Um, Pluto, while not going to the depths of like transhumanism that uh, Blade Runner or even uh, Cyberpunk goes to, um, <clears throat> I think uh, I think it, it does it pretty well the uh that that part of the genre i even i could even read a bit of uh while i was watching it i picked up a bit of like at uh the author asimov i picked up a bit of his writing from uh the i robot book not the movie i like the movie it's kind of cheesy um i'm rambling though i'm rambling we need to get back on topic pluto it's pretty good uh so good that it makes me not like other things. That's how good it is. Um, the character is pretty good. Um, this is a character. This is a show where even dead characters still have a place in the plot. Um, not just because they're trying to be solved, not their 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 murders are trying to be solved, uh, but because you know they still have things. Uh, they still have things that need to be shown that happened before or after. Uh, that that affect the plot going forward, why people are invested in this person, why people might not like this person, right? Um, and I think I think uh for for a show, for a mecha show, um, it's it, it it falls under the real robot genre. I must I must stress that it does fall under the real robot genre. There. Well, it's kind of a hybrid, right? Because real robot usually just means like uh like a, like a vehicle or something, right? And then like super robot is like it's a living being or it's got superpowers, right? Um Astro Boy is one of the original superheroes uh, of the modern age. And uh I I yeah, I guess this would be hi like a hybrid because they're super robots, but they're treated like real robots, and I really like when shows do that, right? That's why I like Evan. Part of why I like Evangelion so much. It treats the, it treats it treats the uh, cosmic sci-fi stuff like it's real. Uh, so yeah, uh, great characters. I think the protagonist is particularly good. Um, you might be a little surprised where the show goes with him. I was kind of surprised uh, what happened with him, um, though I, I was totally fine with it. I, I assume there were some other people somewhere. I haven't heard a lot about this show from other people, but I assume there was someone else somewhere that uh, might not have liked what they did with him. Um, it is an adaptation, though, so it does happen in the original comic, I think. Um, I don't know who animated it. Um, I yeah, I don't know what studio animated it, but they think they did a pretty good job adapting that kind of like, like modernizing that Tezuka style and and also mixing in with a sort of like '90s style. I think the manga was written in the '90s. Um, so yeah, uh, good characters, good plot. Um. 
one of the main points of the show is that like hatred only breeds hatred, right? Uh, there are some people who might not even be bad people, right? But they've just inherited uh, the the plight of their uh, ancestors by by circumstance. And I think that the, with the the way and the the depth and the maturity that it draws it out, that the show draws it out. Uh, puts a lot of Gundam projects to shame because that's what Gundam is, right? That's a lot of what Gundam is. Uh, anti anti war. Not everybody, not everybody's bad. Um, but yeah, I think Gundam sometimes goes a little too far in that, and it, you end up. Uh, I'm gonna end up comparing this to uh, the Order sixty six. Uh, the more you add to it, the less it means, right? The more people we meet from like Zeon, the original Principality of Zeon, that are actually good guys, uh, the the less the less it means that um, that Zeon is like oppressed and um, what is it corrupt? Um, I think. I use that as an example. In reality, I think Xeon is probably more fleshed out uh, villain section, right? Uh, but the the more the more people you add that are actually like good, but like their commanders are bad, then you start to wonder like, well, what's holding this uh, what's holding this force together if the people don't really want to be here, or they they did and they don't want to be here anymore, right? And actually, yeah, and actually, it's like it's actually the Federation who are the bad guys. Like, you can only do that so many times before that story loses itself, right? Um, I also think Gundam doesn't always take that show that uh, topic seriously, like with Code Fairy, right? Like, do they really need to be anime girls? Do they really need to be like Hawaii anime girls? Really, really? Come on. Um. But yeah, I think uh, Pluto Pluto's a lot more mature in that aspect, I think. Especially uh, especially given that some of the other, the AU. It's always the AU, I think. Uh, the UC has its bad stuff, but the AU, I think, suffers a little more. Um, and yeah, I, I can't... I can't really say a whole lot about Pluto without, say, without stopping to tell you how good it is. It's one of those shows... Um, every now and then I'll stumble upon something like Oppenheimer or uh, shit, even B Stars, or the first time I watched uh, the or the Gundam The Origin or Thunderbolt, where after you watch it, I just I don't have anything to say about it just because I just enjoyed it that much and thought it was that like thorough, right? Um, Like, uh, what is it? Uh, Thunderbolt, for example, to go back to it, shows us that, like, yeah, Daryl and the uh, the Living Dead division, they're they're victims, right? They're they're being taken advantage of. Their superiors don't care about them, right? But it's told with like the bloodiness that it's like appropriate, and um, they're they're still committed because they know they have no other way, right? Um, and they 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 explain that in other things in other properties, but that you can only you have to explain it that a proper way because it's such a sensitive topic. Um, so yeah. Uh, Pluto's great, music's great, voice acting's great, characters great, uh, animation's great. Um, not a lot of uh oh I never mind I was gonna say there wasn't a lot of CG in this one, but there, for a mecha show, but there there was. Um, the the cars, the all the all the vehicles are CG, most of them. But uh, yeah, for a mecha show, not a lot of uh, not a lot of not a lot of uh CG. I suppose because actual like mechas aren't in that very aren't in it very long, and a lot of them have like human appearances too, or human like alt alt modes, I suppose. Um, sorry, it's stretched. But yeah, I I really hope Gundam finds the the maturity that it needs. Um, 
the last time I was satisfied with Gundam, um, and we haven't gotten much since then, but it, it has been about two years now. Um, Hathaway's Flash was the last time I felt satisfied with Gundam. These past couple of years, I've just been kind of one big meh. I haven't really cared about the franchise. And I think a lot of the fans, um, not to not to shit on them, not to alienate them, but I think a lot of fans don't realize what Gundam is actually about, what Gundam is actually saying, the purpose of Gundam, right? Um, and I, and that's that's why I don't like uh, the maybe it's not related, maybe it's not related that much, but one of the main reasons I don't like the more like goofier. Uh, tokusatsu style um, Godzilla movies because Godzilla is also a political piece uh, that is uh, anti anti war. Like you could say it's anti war because you know the history that led up to it. And uh, well, Godzilla is the villain that the people must escape and learn from. So when when I see when I see trailers of oh. Godzilla's got a new form, and now uh, the King Monkey has has the Infinity Gauntlet, and now they're they're teaming up and they're fighting in the Hollow Earth. I, I roll my eyes and I gag a bit because I think that's fucking stupid. I think it's fucking stupid and devoid of uh, media literacy. And you know, it leaves me a little disappointed that Godzilla fans let that happen to the franchise. I suppose there's nothing you could, they could do about it. I mean, for all the all the bitching and moaning Star Wars fans do, uh, they haven't had much of an effect on Star Wars. So it, it leaves me disappointed that fans, uh, a lot of fans, will happily just allow their franchise to kind of be bastardized and uh, change into something they're not. Like 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 uh. The, the the build the build section of the franchise, you know, like build fighters, build divers. Um, I I kind of give those a pass because they they're not lying. They're they're commercials. They're commercials. They're not lying about that. They're at least telling you like hey, like the the newest one, the metaverse. The first like the one of the first lines is, wow, I can't wait to to explore the metaverse and buy gunpla. It, it's a commercial. I could. They're telling you, right? Um, but yeah, it it leaves me disappointed that this happens to some franchises and that other franchises come along and do it better. And I, I'm happy. I'm glad that Pluto has a or Astro Boy has a. I think it, it's good that people uh, <clears throat> know about like you know other animated properties, especially ones that got the helped get the industry started um you know i i really enjoy the the medium of animation uh in its history and you know when when i see people uh surprised that something is so old uh i i you know it, it does make me feel a little sad not 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 because i like pity them or feel I despise them. No, no, I'm just like, well, if you people love something, like you, you should probably know about it, right? <clears throat> um, but in that, uh, another thing to say, since Pluto is a retelling of a uh, of a of a plot that happened, or no, or a story arc, um, it's technically a remake. And it's a remake done right, both in the manga and in anime form. So, uh, this one's the Pluto. Um, may he, uh, may he, may he, uh, may he steal all your Gundam models and give them to me because I deserve them. And, uh, I want them, and they're mine. You now your Gundam models are mine. Yeah. So, so yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to, I just wanted to put that out there. You know, I, 
for some pretty scathing comments made in this video. I, I'm aware. I stand by them. I believe them. Um, I just hope that you're able to point out like the bits that I'm just like joking. You're being like facetious on purpose. Um, because <clears throat> you know I, you know people. I mean, I'm not gonna stop you from liking something that's stupid, but you know that's also not gonna stop me from saying, hey, that's pretty dumb. You know. Uh, I, I wish more people would do that about things instead of treating them like, you know, it's the end all be all. Like, oh, why isn't, why wasn't, uh, why wasn't, why wasn't Godzilla versus Kong at the Oscars? You know, that kind of shit. As if it matters that, uh, King Monkey wasn't at the Oscars. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, yep, that's gonna be it. Um, I will be back with my co-host at some point this month, and I will see you later.